I was the backup. And, and I even, I joked at them. I was like, listen, I know I'm the backup, but you're going to regret that I wasn't your first choice. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. Go into the uncomfortable, do the thing that you are avoiding or don't want to do. Show up when you don't want to. Play when you get hurt. Like, cry, like, you can cry, just wait until you get to your pillow at the end of the night. And that's gonna, that's what's gonna make you unstoppable. Losing and is okay. When you come on Thursday, it's game one. Because we all get to decide. The business, the way to shoot the video. Um, you were in Toronto today. Thank you. Go. So I was in Toronto. The only reason I'm in Toronto today is because um, uh, a company reached out to me, their headliner speaker bailed, and they wanted to see if I could come out within a week to make today happen. Um, and I was like, yeah, actually that weirdly enough works with my schedule. I can, I can make it work. And I was the backup. And, and I even, I joked at them. I was like, listen, I know I'm the backup, but you're going to regret that I wasn't your first choice. <laughs> yeah. And that's exactly what happened. hundred percent. Like I have gotten so many opportunities in my life because I was the backup yeah. and didn't allow ego to get in the way to say, Hey, listen, I'm just, I'm over here whenever you're ready. I I'm good. And, and I'm so grateful that I learned that early on because so many times in my life and in my career i've been sitting on the sidelines yeah and someone picked me up off the bench and i was like put me in coach like i've been waiting for this day put me in i got you, you like people can't obviously see it or maybe they can hear it i hope they can which is what you really ooze is confidence mm -hmm. and i think you know you're talking about your parents i think that's what they gave you mm -hmm. in i don't know how they did it maybe it was because it's funny what you said right you, you, your mother was a stay home mom after being in business and, and, and an entrepreneur. And you didn't really get to see that, but some way, somehow they like filter that down to you. Right. Because I, I, I talk to my team all the time. Look, if you can just get in the habit of asking for things and being okay with the rejection, this false feeling of rejection, because I don't think your life gets any worse. Like if I were to ask you for on a date and you were to say no, Life didn't really get worse. I never had the date to start with. Right. But we have this narrative in our head like, shit, my life just got worse. Nah, it's just that feeling because you, you're you worried about the judgment of others. But the confidence that you got, I see it on stage. I see it on content. What do you tell people, Giselle, that don't have that right now? Now they're not kids, though. They're not. I got a 10-year-old and an 8-year-old. Other than making them just like good, kind, happy people, I'm really trying to build confidence in them. Now, I'm not talking about the 10 and the eight year old now. We have adults. You had adults today. I'm sure you had a range of people, you know, just got their real estate license yesterday. They're 22 years old to guys and gals that have been in the business for 30 years. And they're probably looking at you and saying like, I can't get on video. I'm worried and I'm scared. And how do you talk and coach people through getting confident at a much later age now? Well, there's a, there's a few angles that I want to hit because I also feel like those adults could be potential parents as well. And so it goes both ways. And I fully recognize and acknowledge that one of my competitive advantages in life is that I had two parents who loved me. And also one of my competitive advantages was that my parents did not do much for me and intentionally they wanted me to learn they wanted me to figure it out and i feel like we have done ourselves a disservice by believing that things are supposed to be easy mm -hmm. and by believing that your responsibility as a parent is to protect your child from any of those obstacles when in actuality what you're then doing is weakening your child by making them think that it's supposed to be easy rather than putting in the work and creating a sense of discipline 100. and this whole concept of well if it doesn't feel good run from it yeah. no like go into the uncomfortable do the thing that you are avoiding or don't want to do show up when you don't want to play when you get hurt like, cry, like you can cry just wait until you get to your pillow at the end of the night and that's gonna that's what's gonna make you unstoppable losing and is okay all of it and so my my mom did little things where like for example i might whine to her mom why won't you do this for me because i'm your parent i'm not your slave i'm not your maid like I'm, it's my job to make you a responsible adult. Like you have to figure it out. You have to go through it. You have to figure out how to help yourself. And she did that with love. By no means was I neglected. Yeah. And absolutely by all means, did they give me a support system and tools to, you know, going to a great school, for example.
However, there are plenty of kids who I went to school with mm. who have amounted to basically nothing mm. because their parents gave them actually everything and then they were never able to figure it out for themselves. Like I know people who were so spoiled or who were given all of the money in the world and they could not create a return like some of my friends in business or even the Kardashians, which <laughs> is a totally different story where for it's sure. like, okay, she's made over a billion dollars. Can we let her be now? Because I know people who were given millions of dollars who could not create create a business like that, but I digress. 100%. So that being said, where can you as an adult build that confidence? Well, I feel like it, it's a couple different things. One, we have to stop thinking that we can just throw money at our problems or take a magic pill to solve everything. So it, that blue magic pill doesn't exist. It doesn't. I mean, there are some blue magic pills that exist, but I don't know. If I it, never took the conversation <laughs> there, but they do. But in terms of the matrix and helping you get the right, confidence, there's right, no blue magic right, pill. I right. got it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like there's a whole other conversation around you know psychedelics and sure. whatever. What and and also antidepressant whatever. Right. But that's not what we're going down. Yeah. So you know, but but I do think that. Um, what we need to remind ourselves of is that you're doing something new. It's going to be hard. It's going to be uncomfortable. And you have to put in the work. If you simply make a video, that's not going to be the thing that automatically sets your world on fire. Like just because you walk into the gym does not mean you're going to build muscle or lose weight or, or, or just, even be more confident. Even for if that you just matter. watch a YouTube video, right? Like you, you're right. probably watching this on YouTube. Just because we're telling you about it, it, it is based on experience that we have, but you actually have to do the fucking work and get yes. the feedback, continue. Yes, and and so where are some of those first pieces? I do feel like where confidence begins is keeping commitments to yourself. Okay. Because if you start letting yourself down, or if you start putting other people's priorities and accomplishments and tasks ahead of your own, then that's how you not only lose confidence, but you lose a sense of self-worth. And so little things that you can promise yourself that I'm going to do every single day, that's what's going to build it one on top of the other and also make it so that you start falling in love with the journey. Mm. I think one of the best lessons I've learned even by accident is detaching myself from outcomes. Oh, I love and this. I still have to work on that a lot. Yeah. But what do I mean by that? For example, if I call someone and they say no, not believing that I don't have something valuable to offer, whether that's personally or professionally, or if I, you know, put out that video that I worked so hard on and it doesn't perform as well as I had hoped, I don't care. It's a fucking great video. I'm going to leave the video up, you know, so it's, it's detaching yourself from the validation of other people, from the expectations of other people, from the judgments of other people, because that's also what keeps people going. I mean, we talked about how humbling it can be to have big brothers mm -hmm. who can put you right in your place or make fun of you or just, you know, and my, my brothers are so proud of me, sure. so proud of me. And in the same breath, right. they can make fun of my shoes or my hair or something that I You're said. still a little cis to them when they see yeah. you, you know, in, or that, giving in me a the loving way, right? Yes. Yeah, I get yes. that. Um, the unsolicited advice and it. opinions of the people who will never buy from you or who just don't get it, you know, and all of it has been a work in progress. But I think that we think that confidence is something that you're born with. Confidence is something that happens when you were on a high, when you feel good. But the ones who have the unfuckwithable confidence yeah. are the ones who found worth in themselves when shit was bad. Yeah. When they found optimism, when nothing was going their way. When they found a light at the end of the tunnel, when so much of the world was uncertain. I mean, you know this more than anybody. The most successful people around us are, are ones who maybe built businesses or had their best years. Mm. when it was the pandemic or the market crashed or like everybody else was running around distracted and we kept our heads down and we looked at what people really, really needed. And that's where a lot of that confidence comes from is trusting your own intuition yeah. ahead of anybody else's and going for it. If you found that video valuable and you wanna watch the full discussion, click here for my podcast. If you wanna watch more videos, click here.